Hey you guys, it's Danan here from Sweetheart Alabama, the little herb shop located in downtown Greenville, Alabama, right across from the post office. Um, so I did, I was, I told you guys earlier today I was going to do a little short video about honey. And um, the reason why is that I did a presentation at our local Kiwanis Club and I brought some old time remedies and I asked everybody, do you know, can you, hey Paige and hey David and hey Brian, can you figure out what, do you know what this is? So um, people were picking it up and looking at it. It's like, it looks like a rock, right? It's very interesting looking. Hello Edward from Sweden and Nancy. So this is actually bee propolis. So it's a big giant rolled ball of bee propolis from Peru. And uh, it's from a shaman in Peru. And hello, Corinne, if you're watching. And um, this is a lot of bee propolis. So bee propolis is bee glue. It's uh, taken from resin of trees and used inside of beehives in the walls um, to coat the walls. It's antimicrobial and antibacterial and it's also used to put the honeycombs together. And believe it or not, it's an ancient medicine, ancient. The Egyptians used this. So um, yes, it's, a, it's wax all rolled in together and um, I don't necessarily use it because how many hands have touched this thing? <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, so you can actually, I don't know if you can see, hey Rebecca and Dexter. So you can actually see that you can take some of this off and how um, the ancients or people today even would take this is they would take some of this off and they would just eat it. Yeah. So I use this for education and hey Liza, and to show people about, um, about bee propolis. But yeah, now you can get supplements that aren't like this. You know, everybody in the world hasn't touched it, hasn't rolled up into a big giant ball of wax. But um, I just think it's really interesting to see. And no one ever guesses bee propolis when I ask them what they think it is. So there you go. There's the answer to your question, uh, to my question from the other day. So, um, and thank you again to the Kiwanis Club for letting me um, speak to you and talk to you about old time remedies. It was so much fun. Speaking of old time remedies, how about something that never goes bad and um, is, has been used as a medicine for thousands of years, thousands and thousands of years, and um, is, we can get locally and um, we can use for a lot of different, uh, hey Dusty, a lot of different um, health issues and that is honey. So I'm gonna tell you what I have here locally and that's Bender Farms and the reason why I have Bender, Bender Farms is I like raw unprocessed honey and um, a lot of people ask me about honey that's raw when it gets crystallized, what do you do? When honey gets crystallized, that's a great sign it's really it's there's nothing wrong with crystallized honey hey Dean it's actually a great sign that tells you that is a raw unprocessed honey okay so if you don't want to use it crystallized what you can do is you can put it in a bowl of warm water and loosen it gets loosened up again hey Rachel never ever put honey in the microwave to heat it up okay just FYI not a good thing to do. You're pretty much destroying all the properties, the healing properties of honey. Please don't put honey in, please. Please do not put honey in the microwave. Um, so yeah, I like the local honey. So here's another thing I wanna uh, show you about honey, and that is you can put CBD in honey. Oh yes, you can. And um, what I love about this company, by the way, is this is um, Colorado hemp honey, and they grow hemp and raise the bees themselves. So all of this happens on their own farm, which is really interesting. And um, everything is organic, which is also very interesting. And it has, each little straw here has about 15 milligrams of CBD in it. 
and um, yes that is with full spectrum with the THC and listen there is a lot of confusion about CBD and what these words mean full spectrum uh, hemp what how is the hemp plant different than the marijuana plant come talk to me about this in fact you know I love talking about this and I can explain those things to you um, so what I like about this company, not only are they veteran owned and they support veterans causes, um, but yeah, they're growing everything on their farm. And they've also made these where you can give these to your pets as well, which is really neat. So I have tried all of these, the Ginger Soothe I have tried. So this is CBD, honey, raw honey as well and ginger. I've tried this when my tummy wasn't feeling so good. I have tried the Tangerine Tranquility. This is not my favorite because it's really, really sweet, but it does have the honey and the uh, 50 milligrams of CBD. The Lemon Stress Less has been our biggest seller, obviously. And then the Raw Relief actually has more CBD in it, so it's a little bit stronger. Hey, Carissa. So yeah, this company, I'm really interested in pulling in more of their thing. They have more products that I think I'll pull in because I really appreciate what they're doing. And they're such a small farm and they're growing everything themselves, which I absolutely love. So um, this is my also my big seller, which is an actual jar of the CBD honey. And it's $27.99 for the jar. The straws are $3.99. And by the way, the, um, hey Marilyn, the uh, Bender Farms raw unprocessed honey from here in this area is $11.95. So um, thank y'all for wa watching my uh, little thing about honey. I absolutely love doing these. Like sometimes in the afternoon, I'll do, I'll do a little honey or put some in my tea. Um, and you know, I drink honey with my morning elixir, which I've talked about here before. Um, that is something I drink right when I first get up before I even have coffee or anything else. And it is, um, I sh should probably do a video showing you how to make it, but it's apple cider vinegar, um, honey, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, and, um, in hot water and a uh, half a squeezed lemon so um, that will that definitely gets your day started right <laughs> I promise hey Stacy so if you have any questions about honey CBD um, be glue Let me know, I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, come see me anytime between 10 and six on weekdays and 10 and one on Saturday. And um, thank you very much. I love you. Bye.